Hey, what's up, guys? First YouTube video since a long time. Besides Forza and Forza RC, of course, I've been enjoying Gran Turismo Sports recently, so I thought it would be great to show a Gran Turismo Sport video. I'm using a Trustmaster T300 reel with the F1 add-on and T-Power Pro pedals using third-person view. I know that's the biggest sim racing thing out there using third person view with a wheel but I mean whatever works for me right so um today I tried one of the daily races a really strange one as you will see there are always three daily races in Gran Turismo and the one I did was in a really old Fiat from 1968 on one of the fictive tracks in Gran Turismo and that car is really slow as hell. And well, I set, I set a lap time that is second place in Europe so let's watch the replay to see how to drive this car. So you can see how tiny that car really is right here really old tiny car. First thing I do is that I enable all the HUD elements so that I have all the information and then I switch to my driving camera. You can see how this car is not hitting more than 81 miles, really slow as I said, and you really need to be smooth on the turn in and on the braking, otherwise the car will slide, cost you tons of time, which is really difficult on turn 2 right here, slow in fast out. Turn 3 just hit it as much as as much on the inside as possible. Shift early before the red line if possible. And even here on the straight, just take the most smooth line driving over the curb. Just try to just try to be really really smooth. And the last corner which is coming up is really really hard, it's very hard to hit as you need to find the balance between smoothness and turn-in. It really takes lots of time to hit, hit, hit this corner perfect. And if we did, just, well yeah, drive the car to the finish line. Alright, let's head into a race then. Gran Turismo uses skill based matchmaking, so let's see who I will end up racing with my A rating. Will definitely be hilarious to race this. Alright, we got drivers from lots of different nations, including Saudi Arabia, and from the qualifying time, this race should be quite easy, but let's see, I, I mean. This car is completely different from everything else this game has, so um, let's hope it goes well. Okay, here it is, Daily Race A Final. Look at all these tiny Fiat's. Okay, this race is a standing start, which is not one of my favorites in Gran Turismo because I have no idea how to start a car but gladly this car shouldn't have enough horsepower to cause wheel spin. Okay, a little uh, late reaction from me, I admit. And people behind me really catch me, oh my god, go 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 go. Go faster. I broke a little bit too early there, but now after turn 2 we already got a good lead with the guy from Saudi Arabia coming into second place. So I hope this gap should be enough to take it home. It's just really different when you are actually racing, because when the ghost is missing, it feels like something is missing and you need to kind of relearn it. As I said, in the, in the hot lap this corner is really really difficult and I didn't use it to the max really, with the guy behind me really closing the gap. 
now to 1.1 second. <laughs> really long straight. Just trying to break and turn smooth. Not quite the apex, still good. Yeah, that, that, that was quite a slide. Costing really time. And the guy behind me is really close, closing the gap now. Let's fast forward to the end of lap 3. And you can see that, that my gap to the second guy decreases and decreases more. With now just half a second behind me. And one of the things in Gran Turismo is that it draft is really really strong so even through we are just going like 70 80 miles he is closing the gap so hard i gained three temps here in sector one but now because of the draft he is going to hunt me down to the final corner you can see on the left where my name is that the gap gets smaller and smaller it's just insane how fast he is catching me on, on this track. I'm just look, looking back here to, to see where he is. And oh my god, he's like all over me. Going for the overtake, but for some reason he did not fully go for it. And I think that really saved my race until this point. I'm back to half, half a second gap to him. And he's c c coming cl closer again slowly. Ooh, that was really, really too much. Like, if you're un unlucky there, you your cork can roll. I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> he got lots of time here for the first section to him, like half a second again to him. And that it doesn't seem to be enough to get out of a draft window. As you can see that he gains more and more slowly. It is dragged. And he is not getting pressured by anyone, so he got all the room and space and time just for me. That was a bit too much to the inside as well. But I got it much better than he has. It's like you can see that, that, that I get times in the corners, but every time on the straight, he is really hunting me down. And now we are going to the final lap. It should be enough. Like, I, I should be enough in the lead to take this home, except I made a really bad mistake. I, I was really under pressure and tried to get all these corners perfect. I mean, now my gap is 8 tenths and it's just one straight really, which should be enough. Thing is, it brings up the question to me, like, imagine you really have a race for like 3 people or all over you. That would be absolutely insane in this car, I mean, it's the... The draft is so strong, like, he is back to 3 tenths on me on the final corner so I really have to get this perfect because if I get a bad exit he may get me to the finish line and I mean e even though I got the corner well it's still just a very very tiny victory with two temps. What's also funny is that his fastest lap time will be faster than the lap I said online. It's like one of these things in Gran Turismo that you really need to walk with the, with the trap and it's one of these things I'm not used to yet because in, in Forza it's the opposite. There isn't any trap in Forza already, you know. Meanwhile here you get hunted down on the straight and I still need to learn some tactics to defend against that like I, I think in in lap four when it was really all over me to the final corner 
I, I think that he could have really gone for the overtake. But he somehow didn't. But well, I, I at the end, I still won. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It was my first video since ages. My first Grand Turismo Sports video. I will also make videos about Forza. Drop me any questions you have, stuff you want to see. And thanks a lot for watching. See you guys.